many thanks for choosing us. Let's begin with M Deputy Minister Designate for Energy, Andre Japa Mesa, who says he disagrees with former Energy Minister Peter Amewu's description of the PDS ECG deal as fraudulent. Government terminated the deal in 2019 on claims the insurance covering the deal was acquired fraudulently. But Mr. Mesa says the minister got it wrong. He says he does not see fraud anywhere in the deal. And the question that was of me was specific to my disagreement with the Minister of Energy on the use of the words fraud. Because at the time that I was making the comments, I was speaking in capacity as a spokesperson for government communication. And the official communication that government had issued on the transaction at the time that it was suspended was that Government had taken steps to suspend the PDS transaction for material breaches. I said that for the minister to have said that the transaction had been suspended because fraud was correct. Subsequently, when the investigation was concluded and the government of Ghana determined that at the commission date of action, there was no valid guarantee in place and exceeded terminated, I fully support the action that was taken by the government of Ghana to protect ECG. Thank you. Now, you said your disagreement was the use of the word fraud. Yes, Mr. Chairman. And you also said, I could, when ECG was cross-checking, said the person who, didn't, who did sign the guarantee did not have the, the authority to sign that uh, guarantee. To the best of my yes. So what was that? Mr. Chairman, uh, I believe that there is a legal principle. Maybe Mr. Chairman, help let, let him help us. What is the definition of fraud? Fraud. The minority in parliament has demanded that PDS releases to ECG an amount of 200 million cities, which it has allegedly refused to give ECG since the deal was abrogated. But Mr. Mesa says PDS cannot move the money without the involvement of ECG because it sits in an escrow account. Now, PDS has sued government over the abrogation of the deal. Minority Chief Rep. Muntaka Mubarak says Mr. Mesa will struggle in his position because a company he works for, TG Energy Solution, was one of the PDS consortium partners. But Mr. Mesa disagrees. Chairman, as of, I believe, last Friday, Yes. So, Mr. Chairman, you see the difficulty that he has going to the Minister of Energy as a Deputy Minister. When a company that not directly involved but indirectly involved is litigating with the Minister of Energy. Mr. Chairman, if uh, the committee finds it worthy to approve me, I don't see any difficulty. Like I've said, TG Energy is not my company, and so I do not see how a rule that is only uh, by appointment can influence my decision with respect to this great republic of ours. In any event, TG Energy hasn't got any transaction government of Ghana. Uh, PDS, his own directors, and their secretary who are best suited to take decisions for that legal entity, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, earlier you referred to the FTA report, right? You said the issues there were very clear. Yes. Deputy Minister for Energy designate Andrew Sejapa Mesa says he has no interest in the power distribution services 
which took over management of ECG about three years ago. Government cancelled the PDS takeover after it says it detected fraud in the insurance covering the deal. Responding to questions before Parliament's appointment committee, Mr. Messiah explained he only serves as company secretary to another company, TGS Energy, which was part of the consortium that established PDS. He however says he played no role in the PDS deal. I don't think I have an interest in Parliament. So when Parliament collapses, Parliament is overthrown, it doesn't matter to you. Mr. Chairman, for purposes of protecting our democracy, I would be interested in Parliament uh, existing and continuing the functions that is, which I believe is pretty so important. If you, are, if you are a director and a secretary to a company, how do you say that you are not, you don't have interest? I, I chose my words carefully. I didn't say, I didn't ask what I share. I asked, what is the nature of your interest in TG Energy Solutions Ghana Limited? Mr. Chairman, as I explained, my understanding of interest, which is really a legal construct, is one that is in the nature of a property that is transferable, either tangible or intangible, uh, real. But with respect to my duty or my relationship with TG Energy, the chairman understanding is the nature of a fiduciary, uh, which is separate from an interest. And so that's why I so I just ask him, do, not have do, you draw, do you draw benefits from T Energy Solutions Ghana Limited? I should have been, but I never did. Because the contractual relationship required that I be paid, but I was never paid. Joining me via Zoom is Nana Amwesi the seventh, uh, who is the executive director of the Institute of Ex Institute of Energy Security. Uh, Nana Amwesi, I'm grateful for your time. What do you make of the responses by the deputy um, minister designate for energy regarding his role in the PDS deal? Thank you very much, Aisha. Good evening to you and to your viewers. Um, the name is. Institute for Energy Security. I need to put that correction in place. Well, Great. Uh, coming back to the uh, substantive matter, what the deputy minister, you know, um, designate is seeking to do is to question the integrity of His Excellency the President, who cancelled the PDS deal, citing um, fraud. What he's doing is that he's also defending a national shame and suggesting that the Ghanaian deserve the kind of embarrassment um, they went through, they went through uh, because of PDS. And uh, it came quite shocking that he's speaking as if he's PDS and not a well-meaning Ghanaian. And that's something that we should refrain from as Ghanaians. We need to protect our own assets from people that will take, take it over uh, unjustifiedly. But was the deal fraudulent as we speak? Who well, are we to question this when the president, the first gentleman of the land, has agreed and uh, has confirmed to us as citizens that it is fraud, were fraud because of the manner in which the demand guarantees were procured and that some um, material breaches were also occasioned? I can't question the president. And if you look at all the other things that came in, you can also conclude and agree with the president that the PDS deal is really a fraud deal. The, the minority thinks that the uh, minister will struggle regarding the TGS, because of the TGS um, Energy's role in the PDS deal and the role he himself played. Do you see him struggle as the minority suggest? Well, um, putting aside what the minority is, suggesting, 
I can also conclude that it is only a beneficiary of this PDS deal that will put up such a spirited defense against the present position that the PDS deal was fraud, with fraud. And so if he's still going to stick to that position, then, of course, he's not going to protect the public purse. We can trust him that he will ensure that Ghanaian assets are well protected and we are making good returns from our assets. Nanam Wesi the seventh is executive director of Institute of Energy Security. Um, and before you go, though, should the responses bring to an end the controversies, Nana? His response is rather going to talk further debate as to the kind of, uh, you know, steps he is going to support uh, his minister with for them to take, because it's. Clear, clearly, you see that even the manner in which the demand guarantees were procured was fraud, and, uh, and, uh, and, and that certain letters were also fake in the stream. If he's going to stick to this position, then, of course, he's going to open the door for further scandal in the energy sector. I'm grateful for your time.